everyone, welcome back. In the last video, we talked about when you might need to buy a new PC and we very quickly touched on HCL or hardware compatibility lists. And those could be one of the reasons that you need to upgrade your PC, right? Your hardware might not be on those hardware compatibility lists for new updates that have been released for your system. Today, we're gonna talk about what would happen if you decided to just run those updates on your computer anyway, even though your hardware is not meant to run them. And we're also gonna be uh, talking a little bit about what would happen if you decided to stay on an out-of-date version of your operating system, like Windows 7 or 8. So let's jump into it. So updating your PC when your hardware components are not on HCL means you will receive no support from the companies since the hardware was either tested and did not meet the minimum performance requirements or performance standards necessary for the company to approve it for the update, or the company did not test the update on the hardware at all and they have no idea how it will run or if the hardware can handle the update at all. Therefore, those companies will not support the hardware running those updates and they will take no responsibility for any issue that's caused by you running the update on that computer that wasn't supposed to be running those updates. So that means that any honest tech support out there is not going to be able to help you with that device on those updates because you've updated it past what honest tech support companies recognize as supportable for those updates. Some of the things that you might experience if you decide to do this anyway, if you decide to put those updates on your computer and your hardware can't handle it, could be your, your PC may begin to run very slow and sluggish. You may see longer boot times and then programs and software on your PC may take longer to open and they might not run as smoothly. And in this case, you're probably thinking, well, you know, my computer is not going to let me update past what it can handle if all of those bad issues could could be caused by that, right? And there's no way my computer is going to let that happen. Wrong. Your computer will still let you update sometimes past what it can handle. It doesn't always have a governor or something in there stopping that. Uh, Windows has been working on that more with Windows 11. There is the PC health check, which which can help stopping you from going to Windows 11 or other versions, but sometimes that doesn't always work. Sometimes your PC will update past where it's supposed to, or like I said, if you take it to a dishonest tech support company or somewhere that doesn't follow these guidelines, these hardware compatibility lists, they might force update your system past what it can handle, and now you're stuck with a slow machine and you're probably gonna have to buy a new PC anyway. So now you're probably thinking, well, if my PC can't handle those updates, why don't I just not install it? I'll stay on Windows 7 or 8. My PC can handle with Windows 7 or 8. What's the issue with, with me just staying there? So let's talk about how that's kind of even, even uh, an even bigger risk, right? So the other option where you update it past what your PC can handle kind of slowly destroys your PC. Choosing to stay on an out-of-date version of your operating system can actually be unsafe and put you at risk. So let's talk about some of those risks. Because you will no longer be receiving security patches and bug fixes, which uh, you know help block some of the vulnerabilities in your system, you're gonna be at a high risk of getting malware on your computer. In addition to being at a higher risk of getting malware, you're also gonna be a higher, a higher risk of a ransomware attack. There will be no software, email, or browser support on those out-of-date operating systems, right? So different softwares, the companies can't uh, guarantee that their software will work on the out-of-date version of the operating system. In addition, you're probably going to have issues with email since all of their support has moved over to the newer operating systems. They're no longer patching or fixing issues with email on the out-of-date version of the operating system. And you don't really have browser support anymore. In fact, some browsers are just kind of already declaring that they're going to be not working on Windows uh, 7 or 8 at a certain point. So. Some applications and features will stop working entirely. And at that point, you're better off just getting a new PC because um, you know, if you, if you can't do what you need to do on it on a daily basis, there's no point in you using it, right? Now, if you're using software that will not work on a newer version of your operating system, right? So there are software and there are programs out there that only work for like Windows 7 and 8, and they're not gonna work for Windows 10 and 11. That may be the main reason why you've been staying on the out-of-date version of your operating system. Well, let me tell you, the best thing to do for those is if they're not internet dependent, as in they don't require the internet to be used, 
unplug your machine from the internet, that old machine from the internet, disconnect it from your network. If it's ethernet, disconnect it. If it's Wi-Fi, turn the Wi-Fi off. Use that software in a safe, in, safe environment, disconnected from the internet offline, and then buy a newer computer to do your day-to-day -day things like online shopping, banking, paying bills, doing your taxes, um, whatever other internet dependent things you may use the device for or whatever day-to-day -day things you use the device for. You're gonna wanna use, you're gonna wanna do that on the new computer and then you can still use that old software on your old computer disconnected safely from the internet as long as the hardware inside that computer is not failing, it will continue to be used for that sole purpose of running that software you need and you can be safe and secure in your new environment on the new computer. If you have any questions about hardware compatibility lists, if you're on an out of date operating system like Windows 7 and 8 and you're thinking about moving to a new PC but you need some help, please reach out to My Computer Works. We'd be happy to help. Thank you and you have a great day.